think we have the management of Daichi? Absolutely. So let's get straight to it. Mr. S. F. Vakil is the chairperson and managing director joining in. This is Daichi Karkarya, not part of Daichi Sankhya or anything to do with that. They've expanded and commissioned their new The Hage plan. They plan to double their capacity. And let's talk about the out work outlook as well as margins. Mr. Vakil, thank you for taking time out to join in. Just wanted to clear the air before we got started. So now you've expanded and commissioned this new The Hage plant. What is the capacity that it has and what kind of opportunity does this hold for your company? Well, we'll be going towards 30,000 ton capacity in three different kinds of plants. One will be a sulfonation, one will be a ethoxylation, another will be a multi-purpose plant. So we will be probably doubling our capacity. Yeah, uh, Ms. Vakil, uh, talk to us about, you know, whenever any large chemical company expands their capacity, clearly, which means the clients and the target opportunity on the market side is higher. Talk yes. to about how, what kind of commentary are you gathering from your key clients that you have felt the need to expand? Uh, what kind of pricing are you negotiating with them? Uh, how's the pricing power right now across all your products? Well, see, for several years now, we've been limited by capacities. We've had good demand for our products, but we haven't been able to offer products because of capacity constraints. So we've kept some of our pricing high so that we limited the demand. But now that capacities are opening up, we will bring down our prices and try to maximize as much as we can our order book. Okay, so um, have you set any target that you're expecting on the order book front and what about the outlook on your revenue mix? Yes, we have set targets. Uh, in fact, um, Whatever target we set for the present year, we've met those. And hopefully, we will grow by about 35, 30 to 35% in the coming year. And we, because we'll have partially started the plant. And we, con we will continue like this, uh, building up uh, product portfolio and capacity till we reach a 95% capacity in year five. That's March 23rd, March 23. So, Keel, uh, can you just talk to us about the specialty chemicals? You are uh, seeing the maximum growth out of your entire portfolio. And uh, when will this expanded capacity start showing in your financials in a, in a complete fashion? In the complete fashion, it will take at least three years, three, uh, at least two to three years to show up. But uh, our main areas of focus have been construction chemicals, then the oil field. You know, we have a, not only a joint venture with Nalco Champion, but we also have special arrangements for Nalco Champion, which is an Ecolab company, to buy from us so our exports will go up. We are working towards that. And just all these years, we've had limited capacity. So we could never really consider uh, going in for partnerships like this. Okay, so can you give us a little more clarity then on your product pipeline and some sort of a sense as to where we can see your margins, where we can see your revenues head? Because, Ms. Vakil, you sound fairly positive on the export prospects, the kind of partnerships, and what would that do to your earnings? Well, as you can see, since we've in invested quite a lot, in the first year, we're planning to break even. And after that, in the next two, three years, I think in the next two, three years, we'll start uh, showing income again. So uh, first year, which is the present year, we'll probably break even because we've invested close to 160 crores. Fair enough. Thank you then, ma'am, for taking time out and joining in, giving us a heads up on this new plant and what the potential is for the company as well going forward.